Good morning, CNS. Today is Tuesday, September 29, 2020, and it is a D-Day. I'm Abby Files. And I'm Kevin Friend. Good morning, everyone. Students taking the SATs this Saturday arrive at 7.30. The test starts at 8 a.m. You must bring your registration ticket, photo ID, pencils, a mask, and your own calculator. We will not be supplying school calculators the morning of the test. You will have your temperature checked before you enter the building. If your temperature is over 100 degrees, 0.4 Fahrenheit, you will be told to leave and will have to notify College Board to reschedule. Social distancing will be mandatory. Questions? Contact Ms. Frey at sfrey1 at nscsd.org. If you've gotten your senior portrait taken already by a photographer other than Prestige, your photos must be submitted to, the, to cnsyearbook1 at gmail.com by Friday. See your yearbook website found on the CNS homepage for all the details. And now, here's Giovanni Heater with the sports. It's Syracuse and Georgia Tech opening up a brand new Carrier Dome as the freshman Sean Tucker not quitting until the play ends, getting his way into the end zone. Syracuse jumps out to an early lead in this one. Syracuse would continue with great defensive stops down the stretch as that one's batted away at the line of scrimmage and picked off by the defensive lineman Josh Black, one of five takeaways for this Syracuse defense as Michael Jones hitting the quarterback and it's Trill Williams with the interception. He would be the defensive player of the week in the backfield for Syracuse and the Atlantic Coast Conference. Give it to Sean Tucker, the freshman once again, rumbling his way into the end zone. He would have 124 yards on 24 carries and two touchdowns on the afternoon for the Orange. Syracuse, once again, Tommy DeVito, plenty of time dropping back. Look at that pretty football as Taj Harris flips his way into the end zone and it's all Syracuse in this one. Jeff Sims dropping back, hit as he throws and this one is picked off Syracuse four interceptions on the freshman quarterback today and this is one of the most dynamic and athletic defenses in the ACC Tommy DeVito once again finds his man Nikeem Johnson you can't throw a football better than that as Syracuse making a statement here late in the game Jeff Sims taking the snap pressure coming from the orange and this one picked off once again by Jihad Carter and I'm gonna sit back and let the play do the talking near the 40 and he laterals the football this is Trill Williams he's got a block Williams down the sideline and he scores for the orange and a funny story on this one those two would talk about that as they lived together in a dorm room throughout the quarantine and they said they were going to make that happen and they delivered Syracuse wins this one 37 to 20. Now we move over to Sunday. It's NFL football as two undefeated teams go at it. The Buffalo Bills versus the Los Angeles Rams as Josh Allen gets the Buffalo Bills on the board in the early going. Score seven to nothing, finding his tight end Lee Smith in the back of the end zone. Then it's Josh Allen once again faking the pitch, diving his way into the end zone. Two touchdowns early on for the Buffalo Bills and that dynamic quarterback Josh Allen, the MVP candidate. Josh Allen once again making it look easy, finding Tyler Croft, who's in this week for the injured Dawson Knox. He would make a name for himself with two touchdowns on the game. Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills once again as he delivers a strike to the back of the end zone. Stephon Diggs, are you kidding me? Guarded by the defensive back Jalen Ramsey. That's an incredible pitch and catch between the quarterback and the all-pro wide receiver. Josh Allen once again finding the game-winning touchdown to Tyler Croft. The Los Angeles Rams would come back and make things very interesting, taking a 32-28 lead, but a pass interference call leads to a win and a 3-0 start for the Bills. And it would be the Tampa Bay Lightning getting things done up in Canada. Your 2020 Stanley Cup Final Champions as many former Syracuse Crunch players would contribute to this astonishing win and feat for the Tampa Bay Lightning. That's all today in the booth. My name's Giovanni Heater, as always, and have a great day. Thanks, Gio. That's all for today. From the CNS Morning Show, I'm Abby Files. And I'm Kevin Friend. Have a great day. Stop.